Right, so you've done your wastegate adjustment on your turbo, you fitted your EGR blanking kit, you've got your silicon hoses in place, and you've got your turbo boost box fitted. You've just got your paycheck, you're gonna invest in something else. That needs to be an uprated intercooler. So this is the standard one. I'm trying not to damage the one below because it's very nice, um, but I would need to show you the depth. So there is the difference in the depth. Now I've had a lot of positive uh, experiences with AliSport intercoolers. I think they're beautifully made. Um, you, they really are good value for money, even though you're looking at 500 pounds for one of these. As I said before, a genuine uh, replacement TD5 intercooler from Land Rover would be easily 500 pounds. So you, at the end of the day, you're just replacing it with a far better bit of kit. Right, so all the fixings are the same. So again, if I offer this into place, the lugs that sit at the bottom here are, if you put those at the same height as the lugs on the bottom of this intercooler behind, you can see that the pipes all sit in the same place, as well as the rear ones. So these rear uh, plugs here are sat in the same place as the rear ones here. So the only real difference you're getting is the depth, which hopefully you can see on that there. You can see the depth is a massive improvement. Now I know I've used terms like adjusting your wastegate, removing EGR valves, you know, intercooler fins, everything like that, and it's a lot of jargon, but trust me, this is a real layman's job. And as long as you can operate a spanner and a screwdriver, and you've got a bit of patience, I'm pretty confident this is a job that most Land Rover owners could do. So do give it a go because all the instructions come included. And I think if you do this job and you get it done successfully, you're gonna really feel proud of yourself with the benefits and the massive difference it makes to the performance of your vehicle.